Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with our last break of the night. It's 2018-19 Panini Donner's Optic Basketball 12 box picker team number five from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Our second one of the night. Nice. People are, are getting into the Donner's Optic Basketball. Appreciate that. There's Jess, Last Spot Mojo, Wizards. Rory saying that the first Lakers offer for AD is in. Who, who is this according to, Rory? What's the source? Lonzo Ball, Kyle Kuzma, Rondo, Rondo back in New Orleans. I'm sure he'll love that. And Michael Beasley and a first round pick. Yeah, take that, New Orleans. <laughs> Send this. That's a great deal for the Lakers. I don't think New Orleans. I don't think the, I don't think the Pelicans are going to do that. Would the Pelicans do that? I don't think the Pelicans are going to do that. I guess that's a decent first offer. <laughs> the Pelicans will be like, <laughs> Magic and Rob, try again. That's what they'll say. Woj is saying that. Okay, that's a good source. Well, then they'll be like, okay, you add, that sounds good. You add Ingram in there too. <laughs> is what's going to happen. Minus ball plus Ingram. Box number one. Are... Am I tired yet, John Samuelson? Asking. No way. I'm at, I'm at the, the peak of my powers right now, John Samuelson. Peak of my powers. I am. I'm wide awake. Wide awake. Not tired at all. As <laughs> I drop the first pack. Yep. Just sharp as a sharp as a knife. I've got all, all, all my wits about me, John Sanderson. That's right. Sharp, sharp, sharp as a marble. And as sharp as an unpolished marble. Ball, Lonzo Ball, Kyle Kuzma, Rajon Rondo, Michael Beasley, and a first. Why would the, I don't think the Pelicans would do that. Unless the Pelicans really like really like Lonzo Ball. Uh, I like Kyle Kuzma a lot, but I think uh, I think this is what you're gonna see in Kyle's. Uh, this is what you're what you're gonna see from Kyle Kuzma. That's it. You know, uh, he's not gonna lead an offense. He's not going to. You know, he's he's a great borderline starter. You know, fantastic off the bench. Every once in a while he'll go off for like thirty five points. I'm not think I don't think he's gonna be as consistent. Great energy, plays hard. Like his, I like his attitude, but there's a reason why he was a late first round pick. A great late first round pick, but uh, but he's he's I don't think he's gonna quite get there. I mean he's is Kuzma gonna be an all star anytime soon? There's Mitchell Robinson, our first autograph right out of the gate. Is he an all-star? Nah. <laughs> you know, is he like third team All-NBA? Uh, you know, may maybe. Maybe once in his career. Twice, maybe. He'll be a solid player. He's like a glue guy. You know, you're definitely going to need a guy like him. Depth like a Kyle Kuzma to get you, to get you, you know, playoff wins and maybe even a title. But it, it, is he enough to... His blue DeAndre Ayton, which will sleeve and top load all these before they all get shipped out. But is he, does Ball and Kuzma in a first turn into Anthony Davis? Can you build around that? I don't know. There's Reggie Miller gold, six out of 10. These lower numbered ones will sleeve right away. So that's the, that's the question. Do they see a lot more upside in Lonzo Ball? I don't know if a lot of Lakers fans... You know, we see a decent ceiling in Lonzo Ball, but do other clubs see that? And that works if they if they rate Lonzo pretty high. There he is right there. It's got to be... You know, because, I mean, I don't know how attractive... There's on a Musa. I don't know how attractive... Uh, 
New Orleans is as a free agent destination. You would think that they would be a good. I mean, I've never been to New Orleans. It looks like a fun town. Like, that's not a free agent destination. Maybe. So they're. Not, I guess if you're, if you can argue they're not getting free agents. Well, they got to get better players in return. There's Kyle Lowry, lime green to 149. Kevin White saying, Lakers want their cake and, eat, and to eat it too. This is true. They have to give up their young guys if they want to compete in LeBron's time. None of these guys will be as good as AD. No. There's Jeremy Lin for, the, for Atlanta. There's Magic. Talking about you, Magic Johnson. His ears were burning. That's why we pulled his retro series card to 49 for the Lakers. Yeah, but I'm I, like... Here's the thing. I, I feel like, and I said I mentioned this in a different break, Kevin. Why when we we're discussing this, if the Lakers, the everyone knows who the Lakers have. There's no secret in what their assets are. You know, the Pelicans know this. They're not dumb. Pelicans know what the Lakers have. If the Pelicans liked the Lakers players, they would have done the deal ages ago. <laughs> you know, day one. If they if they if they liked AD or if they liked the Lakers youngsters that much and they know that AD's not going to sign an extension, they got to make a move. They would have made the move. They would have been like, "All right, let's do it. Give me give me Ingram Ingram Kuzma Ball pick done. You know, let's even out the money somehow. Let's take KCP or something like that. Blah blah blah. Done. It would have happened. But that's maybe they don't want him. I mean, it's not enough. It might be enough if the Boston says we're not going to trade Jason Tatum. That's the other thing, right? They got to wait before they move this guy, right? You got to wait for is Boston actually going to give up Jason Tatum? Is Kyrie going to? So who are we waiting on? Is Kyrie going to re-sign with Boston? If he re-signs with Boston. Does that make Jason Tatum somewhat expendable? If you can add Kyrie, you know, Gordon Hayward, Anthony Davis, and the rest of those guys, you know, Terry Rozier, Jalen Brown, around those guys, is that a championship team? Maybe. And meanwhile, New Orleans gets to start with, gets to restart with, J uh, with Jason Tatum. So are we waiting on Kyrie? Is Kyrie holding up this whole train? Now what if Kyrie says, I'm going to go to the Knicks? Kevin Durant goes to the Knicks. Then Boston doesn't move Jason Tatum. They got to hold on to him. There's Hamadou Diallo. Three out of five. Vinny has this one, right? No, it's Lou. I thought Vinny was in this one. Lou with the Oklahoma City Thunder gets the Hamadou Diallo rated rookie. No auto, but still a three out of five. Nice. There you go, Lou. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. There we go. That guy might be in the picture. So there's a lot of, a lot of moving parts. You know, now that this guy's in Dallas, there's Dwayne Dedman to 149. Uh, does New York actually get Kyrie and Kevin Durant? And then does <laughs> and then does uh, do the Knicks try to lure Anthony Davis there somehow? Uh, maybe not. Maybe you just have Kyrie. There's use of Nurkic, the trailers. Maybe then you have Kyrie. Kevin Durant, Dennis Smith Jr., Kevin Knox. A lot of guards there. And there's Robert Williams III, rated rookie autograph for the Celtics. Speaking of the Celtics, Lou with that one as well as a Lou box.
A lot of, a lot of moving parts. John says, New Orleans is, a gr is great to visit. So are you suggesting that it is not a free agent destination, a good place to visit, but not a good place to live? Jacob Evans III, rated rookie to 149 for the Warriors. Uh, Kevin White likes the mystery team idea. There's always a mystery team. I feel like he's Kevin White saying, I feel like the mystery team always ends up with the player. Right, Paul George ends up staying in Oklahoma City. Kawhi goes to Toronto. He might stay there. Blake Griffin goes to Detroit. He might stay there. Porzingis to Dallas. And Anthony Davis to the Denver Nuggets. What do you think about that? I, I, I think I heard Bill Simmons kick around the Denver Nuggets. What if AD goes to the Denver Nuggets? What if that's the mystery team? Right? Who do the, who do the Nuggets have? John says he could live in New Orleans for a few years. Maybe grow to like it. What if you're making NBA star money, John Samus, and if you're making $20 million a year, would you like New Orleans? I feel like you can, you can like anywhere with that kind of money. Let's go look at the Denver Nuggets. What if that's, a, what if that's your mystery team? They need that kind of player, don't they? Oh, man. Can you imagine? Jamal Murray in the backcourt... And then you got Nikola Jokic and Anthony Davis up front. Oh, man. Jokic just operating in the paint, right? Anthony Davis has a good, a good outside shot along with Jamal Murray. You can't stop those guys. Ain't no way you're going to stop those guys. They already play well at home. Who would they trade, though? I don't know if they have enough assets. Maybe you trade like a Michael Porter Jr. You start with that. Kevin White's a Wolves fan, so and since the Disgruntled Star usually gets traded to a weird small market team. Andrew Wiggins, Jeff Teague, plus whatever else, and you put AD with Cat. All right, hold on. Let me go to the, the Timberwolves depth chart. Now, Wiggins actually has been playing a little, has been playing pretty good basketball. Right? Wiggins is playing some pretty decent basketball. Kind of trying to shed that potential bust sign hanging over his head. So maybe you take an Andrew, move an Andrew Wiggins. So you get a fresh start in New Orleans, clean slate, and you just ball out. You know what I mean? They'll run the offense through you. AD with Carl Anthony Towns. You would have who? Who would you move? You'd, you'd have to move like we'd have to move a lot of players. I don't. I don't know what the Timberwolves pick situation is. There's Valanciunas. Now, yeah, you'd have to move Jeff Teague and Wiggins and maybe they're speaking of Michael Porter Jr. There he is. Maybe a uh, maybe the maybe Bates Diop, maybe a Saric, and then like picks. That's for Denver. That'll be for uh, Larry. Larry has the Denver Nuggets. There's a hollow Marvin Bagley. Hollow. Oh, yeah. Oko I forgot about Okogie. Yeah, Okogie. Got to add those guys, those young guys on rookie contracts. There's Trey Young, pink velocity out of 79 for Justin. Lou Williams, hollow. All right, so maybe Teague, Kogie, Wiggins, pick. Do we like that better than that Lakers deal? Wow, oh, Jeff Teague, his ears were burning. You see this, Kevin? 
we're talking about him. Jeff T. He's like, what? You trying to trade me? You trying to trade me? And we're like, what, Jeff? No, we're just, just talking. Maybe. Gold Chris Paul to one, no, orange Chris Paul, sorry. And I was like, to 199, that's not gold, that's orange. There's Kyrie, where does he go? I like Saric. So, so, so you pretty much give them... So the Pelicans turn into the Timberwolves minus Anthony Davis. Is what we're saying? <laughs> That's the problem with with uh, like can you ever here's the here's the other here's the, here's the other question. So yeah, Pelicans become Timberwolves minus Anthony Davis. And then Timberwolves just become Anthony Davis and Carl Anthony Towns, and then that's it. Just those two guys. Just each scoring 40 points a night. <laughs> That'd be fun. That'd be fun to watch, actually. I'd watch that. Just watch Carl Anthony Towns and Anthony Davis just try to... Right, and Derrick Rose on a vet minimum. Luel Dang actually getting freaking minutes. Right? And it's like, all right, guys, go for it. It's all you. You know, maybe you'd pick up. Who's the guy that went to Dallas? You, you need a guard, right? Who, who's the guy that went to went to New York from Dallas? I don't know. There'll be like there'll be guys. There'll be a lot of guys that are being bought out. You find you find find some find some players to fill in the rest of the team, and then see what happens. And then you'd be like, hey, Kyrie, you want to come to Minnesota? Run with Carl Anthony Towns and Anthony Davis? Who's the, uh, who's the great Knicks or the great uh, Rockets GM? I forgot his name or owner. GM. Anyway, he said a little while ago, there's Buddy Heald, 79, Pink Velocity. He said, hey, give me two stars on my team. Give me two superstars on my team, and I'll figure out the rest. I, you know, I can find, I can find a way to figure out the rest. All right? <laughs> Josh Okoge also heard us talking about him, Kevin. I mean, nowadays it seems like you need three superstars now, I guess, to at least to compete with, at least to compete with um, the Warriors. But wait, Justin was saying a few minutes ago that Jeff Teague used to be your neighbor. Nice guy. How does he like New Orleans? There's Grayson Allen to one ninety nine. Just we just gotta tell Kyrie about like how flat it is out there. He likes flat earth stuff. There's Orange Dan Smith Jr. to one ninety nine. Redemption. Any guesses on that redemption? Tell Kyrie about the, uh, you guys have the, what are the things, the, the, well, I forgot, Skywalks, I think? you guys. It connects buildings, like it connects all the big buildings downtown. And so, um, so you don't have to go out in the minus 50 degree weather. John Tams, you think the redemption is Kata Bates Diops? Skyways, Skyways, not Skywalk, Skyways. Man, those are, those must be cool.
I work in downtown and it's a lifesaver, says Kevin. Like literally, right? You can't get out there in minus 50 degree weather. Gotta, you gotta use those skyways. Gordon Hayward too? Jeff Teagan, Gor Gordon Hayward hanging out? All right, the redemption. No one's guessing except for John Samuelson. It's Lonnie Walker, the fourth. Lonnie Sky Walker. Going to Jason Jones and the Spurs. San Antonio Spurs. I think people have been feeling feeling a little more more bullish on Lonnie Walker the fourth. I've heard more people talking about him. Nicola Batum. Isn't he a free agent soon? Out of one ninety nine. Wes Matthews went the other way. I just saw Wes Matthews. He went to to New York. They they might just they might just wave, just buy out Wes Matthews and DeAndre Jordan. They don't want to accidentally win too many games and miss out on Zion. Um, there's Valanciunas, Black Velocity to uh, 90, 39. There's Trey Young, Hollow, nice. Just, Justin needs a one of one Trey Young. That'd be nice. I feel like we haven't seen a one of one in a while. Hollow Trey Young, the rookies, going to Justin to start. So it's just Tilakina, Kevin Knox, Dennis Smith Jr. It's 149. There's a, a wild cat has appeared, Carl Anthony Towns, so 149. Kevin White says, I've talked myself into the delusion that Ryan Saunders is the Messiah. That's Flip Saunders' kid, right? And I think Flip is no longer with us. Is that correct? Yeah, he passed away in 2015. He's kind of young, wasn't he? He's only 60. To 199, Jimmy Butler. And your rated rookie autograph is Dante DiVincenzo. That'll be for Milwaukee Bucks, Josh Proust with that one. And there's a nice Colin Sexton hollow for the Cavs, Jason Jones. Another police chase going on? Where? Wow, he passed away right after he drafted Carl Anthony Towns. Yeah, I, I want to say, yeah, it was back in 2015. So, yeah, he drafts Carl Anthony Towns earlier that summer, and then he passes away in October, probably just, just before the season starts, it looks like. And then, right, then it was 
Right, I feel like those I feel like that was a, a few lost years there. And everyone hated Thibodeau. Right. I feel like that's a few lost years. Those those, those Thibodeau years were, were like were a few lost years there. Are they gonna Are they gonna permanently hire uh, Ryan Saunders? I feel like they're playing. I mean, they they won that game right after he was hired. Team seems to be responding well to him. I feel like Wiggins has been playing a little bit better with Ryan Saunders. Our Timberwolves team seems to be hearing us. There's Dario Saric, 99. There's Derrick Rose. And wow. Two cases, two Luka Doncic's. That's another one for the Dallas Mavericks. Josh Reich with the Mavs this time. Wow. Two in one night. Two cases, two Doncic's. Boom, that's how we do it. There's Kata Bates Diop Hollow. Another Timberwolf. And Wiggins. They're following us out of 49. Jaspiescasebreaks.com home of the Lucas. James Harden to 199. Glenn Taylor, the owner of public, said he wanted Ryan Saunders to learn and take over the helm. So I think if, they, if the team keeps playing well under him, that they'll keep him around. They might as well. Yeah, if, yeah, he's been with the team forever, and he's way more relatable to the players. Carl Anthony Towns, Wiggins, love him. I mean, Carl Anthony Towns, legitimate superstar in the making, right there. If you and Wiggins could be no, could you know, he was a high round pick. You know, he's no slouch either. Yeah, one more guy there, one more big name there. Well, Jimmy Butler was supposed to be that guy, but that, that relationship did not work out. But if uh, man, if they if they get if they could get another big player, if they could get Kyrie. Yeah, if they could get one of those guys, that'd be that'd be very interesting. Well, I, I I heard that I heard, I heard something that kind of scenario, um, on like a Bill Simmons podcast, Kevin, where like the Knicks are gonna miss out on Kyrie and KD, and like some guy who was it? It was someone on the it was not Bill Simmons, but someone else with Bill Simmons on on a on his podcast. They were talking about the trade, and and these were a couple Knicks fans that work at the Ringer dot com, and one Knicks fan. A uh, writer who was there who was just like, he's like, he said the same thing. I feel like we're just going to miss out on Kyrie. We're going to miss out on KD and then end up with, yep, end up with Tobias Harris and <laughs> end up with maxing Tobias Harris and maxing like DeMarcus Cousins and like his, 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 his injured lower leg issues. And they end up maxing him for like five, six, seven years. And 
and then watch him be a shell of himself in the last four years of his contract. And that, and those two guys, and Dennis Smith Jr. and Kevin Knox and Frank Tilakina, and, and then they have nothing basically. There's Jimmy Butler. But what if uh what about like Mike Connolly adding Mike Connolly? I feel like he's a pretty solid because they already said they're gonna try to trade Marcus All. There's Mike Connolly right there. Oh, hi, Dave Barrows. Yeah, I apologize. That video accidentally cut off before before I pulled the pulled the ball. It was uh, Miles Bridges or Mikhail Bridges. Whoever's on that checklist, whatever Bridges is on that checklist is who it was. The person who won it was watching it live. He'll vouch. Dion Waiters to 79. Luca, yeah. So I mean, I could see I could see a Mike Connolly on that on, on the Timberwolves. That's not like a huge play, but Wiggins, Carl Anthony Towns, Connolly, you know, Sarge and Covington are solid players. Could be a decent team, and just wait out wait out the Warriors. Wait for wait for their uh, for their run to come to an end. There's Lime Green, Wendell Carter, Steph Curry to ninety nine, and there's Lenny Lenny Wilkins. Nice Hall Dominators, old school for Justin Taylor and the Hawks. You know, I wouldn't hate that, Kevin White. If if the Lakers couldn't get AD for whatever reason and then ended up with ended up with Marcus Gasol. <laughs> Trey Trey Way squad. Yeah, Lakers are a little far away from from AD to Lakers confirmed. A little far away for that. There's Malik Monk. Hell, and, and Mike Con and Mark Con uh, Mike Connolly. I'll take Mike Connolly and Marcus All. Mike Connolly, Marcus All, right? And with with LeBron James, and you probably don't have to give up too many too many of the guys, too many of the young core to get that. You could probably get away with moving like Ingram and Josh Hart and a pick. Something for those two guys, while everyone spends their bullets on 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 moving their half their team and their future picks to New Orleans. Ricky Tap, what's going on? Yeah, as, as, as strong as can be, Ricky Tap. This is our last break. So we're about that, that much and that away from calling it. We usually end around 11 o'clock Pacific, 2 a.m. Eastern. It's about when we shut down anyway. But... But definitely, definitely running out of steam. The Big Hit Express definitely running out of steam, especially after we knocked out that 101 box Superb Owl Mixer earlier today. That was a lot. <laughs> You're just waiting for the Mellow to Lakers confirm? That will probably happen sooner rather than later. 
Although, no, that'll happen. When will that happen? That'll happen right after the trading deadline. Once the trading deadline is over, and it turns out that New Orleans wants to wait to see what Boston is going to do with Jason Tatum in the summer. So once that happens, yeah, they're going to end up with Carmelo. For cheap, we don't have to give up pretty much anybody. There's Anthony Simons, Pink Velocity. And one of one, Jeremy Lin for the Hawks. Not the one of one Trey Young that Justin was looking for, but Lin Sanity. There it is. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Save one of those hollow DiVincenzos. Yeah, Ricky Tab, 101 boxes. Football mixer. Three hour video, I think. The video is three hours. And the chase, the car chase is done, says Mr. Mike's daddy. At Alameda? Alameda and what? That's like downtown, isn't it? There's Tony Parker for the Hornets to 149. They're going to play in France, ladies and gentlemen. Did you guys hear about this? He's from France. That's what reminded me. Adam Silver says he's going to, he's planning to have some games. Just like there was a London game earlier this year. There's Kata Bates, Diop Orange. Ninety-nine. They're gonna have a game in Paris or something like that. All right, next box. Almost there. Four autos to go. Good luck, everybody. There's Kyrie Irving. Five out of 39. Black Velocity. Westbrook. Joe Ingles out of 199 orange. What's up, King D? This is uh, Pick Your Team 5. Donner's Optic Basketball, our last break of the night. There's Wes Matthews to 149 for Dallas. Who Mark Cuban said Porzingis won't play this season. I'd like to see him play this season. Get him in there. And there's Dominator Gerald Green for the Houston Rockets. And that'll be for Ellie and the Houston Rockets. There you go, Ellie. 48 out of 60. All right, Chris. Have a good night, man. And there's Gordon Hayward to 79. We'll do that tomorrow, King D. We did two tonight, so it looks like people are, are warming up to the Donner's Optic basketball. Maybe we'll do another two tomorrow.
<laughs> yeah, that 101 box mixer was pretty fun. You can watch it at, I think YouTube lets you rewatch at like double speed. You can get that knocked out an hour and a half. Next one. We got Black Velocity Trey Young. Nice. 35 out of 39. Kevin White's got an unbelievable set. In Porzingis' four and a half career, he's played one game after March. Right, so. Everyone, you know, there there have been a, a contingent of people who are like, oh, man, you know, Porzingis, what a stupid mistake. You know, why did why did the Knicks trade him? The way they didn't get enough back for him. But what if they know what we all don't know? The fact that Porzingis, you know, has played one game after March. He is... That, that's, the, that's the dirty seeker, right? There's Dennis Schroeder to 149. You know who doesn't get injured? It's V. Mahaliak, rated rookie autograph for my Lakers, David Bruins. He doesn't get injured, Dave. That's right. It's v plays it safe. Just a couple minutes a night for him. I could see him turning into something interesting, though. There's Bruce Brown, rated rookie orange to 199. Ben Simmons. Two boxes to go. One game after March. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm hoping, Kevin, that, that Svi turns into like a Kyle Korver type. I've mentioned this on the show before. And I know that comparison has been made as well. It's not, a, it's not breaking news. But if he can turn into like a Kyle Korver type, you know, good outside shooter on a, on, on a, on a Lakers team that have playmakers but not pure shooters. That's what everyone says, right? You got to surround LeBron with shooters. Brandon Ingram... Can score, not necessarily a shooter, right? Kyle Kuzma can score, not actually a shooter. Rondo inconsistent at scoring, you know. But if he can turn into a proper shooter, like I like a, I like a, I mean, at least to, at least from the get go, Svi coming off the bench with like Josh Hart, you know. Kind of a nice energy, pace, fast scoring, efficient sort of uh, second team bench. I'd, I'd like that. That'd be pretty cool. There's Marshawn Brooks. Yeah, it comes off screens well. You're right. Move, move off ball, get the ball, catch, shoot. Kyle Korver, Kyle Korver in his prime, he slowed down a little bit in recent years, I think. But there's there's Diallo to 99. But Kyle Korver, prime Kyle Korver, like Hawks Kyle Korver, dude was like sharpshooter, was an assassin. Mo Bamba, rated rookie autograph for the Magic. Joseph Matthews with the Magic. He's got some, he's got some ceiling too. Mo Bamba. There's Eric Bledsoe. What are the? I feel like the 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 Bucks Bucks need to try to do something. Couldn't they use like a Mike Connolly or something like that? Isn't the maker of Thons not happy? Move him. Get some. Get some Mike Connolly there. Something. 
There's Jerome Robinson for the Clippers to 149. Now, there's been some talk about Bradley Beal being moved, too. I think he's a pretty somewhat underrated player, I guess. I don't think the Wizards get, get that much coverage outside of their drama and outside of John Wall. But but I I wonder if Bradley Beal will get moved. I, I know some, some people have talked maybe Lake, Bradley Beal going to the Lakers as a as an alternative Anthony Davis option, but that could still sneaky, be sneaky good, low-key good. Low-key good move. Last box, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, exactly, Kevin. Pure shooters, Corver, J.J. Redick, Joe Harris. Can have a really big effect on the team, what Kevin's saying. They create, exactly, they create spacing, force you to count for them, and that's what Svee could be. I hope the Lakers keep him around for a little bit. Just kind of let him quietly develop behind all the sort of name rookies and name players that they're eventually going to get. And I feel like without that kind of be the shooter sort of pressure, he can evolve at his own pace and get to where he needs to be. Could, that's an interesting kind of hold, I think. Like that autograph, kind of hold that. See what happens in a couple years. All right, last box. Let's see what happens in this one. Thanks for hanging with us, folks. I think we're going to call it after this. Pretty exhausted. We'll be back tomorrow. And I'm sure we'll have a lot of other breaks we can knock out as well. There's Kevin Huter I'm playing some good ball for the Hawks out of 49. Kobe. Kobe Bryant to 49. It's Gary Trent Jr. Hollow. There's Trevor Ariza to 149. Pete Maravich, Chris Dunn hollow. What's our last autograph going to be, you guys? It's going to not Javon Carter. That's a rated rookie to 99. There it is. Some sort of Dominator autograph. Hall Dominator, old school, new school, current school, which school? There's Joel Embiid to 199. It's a nice block right there. His teammate Markel Fultz. Let's see what happens with him in life. And behind Andrew Wiggins, your autograph is going to be J.R. Smith. Do dominating, dominating clock management. 10 out of 60. For the Cavs, that'll be for Jason Jones and the Cavs. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was 2018-19 Panini Donruss Optic Basketball. Pick your team number five from jazbeescasebreaks.com. We will see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.